In this video, we're going to focus on how we can put in the dot at the final item of a line and remove them from every other item. And if we add up more data points, it will automatically adjust the dot to the very last of the line. So let's start to look how to display only the last dot in a line chart in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to go to chartjs3.com, getting started this specific link here, which you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on this site, scroll down here and just copy this entire chunk of code here. And there we are, copy that. And then what I want to do here is I want to paste it in there and cut out this and put it in here. Paste, save, there we are. All right, so now we have this here and let me just increase the size of it. In this case, I can make this maybe 1000 pixels. All right, so now we have this here. Let's convert it into a bar chart. So I'm going to say here bar will be, oh, sorry, not a bar, but line chart because it is only suitable for a line chart. So we have all these point radius items here, or this point, uh, 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 what do you call it the point radius dot so we're going to remove them first or we're going to adjust them so how do we do this so if i do here and i just say here point radius by default we can do it like this and this is the easiest way to remove them and then just eventually put in the value that we want and if i just put here zero zero and zero and save this refresh you can see here now we only have targeted one. Of course, this is not really the real solution. If you have multiple items or you want this dynamic, of course, this is not the way to do it. And we want it on the very last value. So how can we do that? Well, let me show you another way how we can do it. You just go to say point radius. And in here, the point radius, we're going to say CTX, which is basically the context of the entire canvas. So now if I do just a console log, We'll see, we're going to show the CTX, refresh this, open up developer tab, and now you can see here the entire object. But of course, this object will only show the elements or the a specific element right now, index six, and here there's probably five or etc. etc. It shows us all of this information. Wonderful, but not necessary for us, because what we really want is to go one level up, because we want to know how many points we have or labels because that will define the amount of points that we have. So I'm going to say adopt chart and save this, refresh. Now you can see here, you're now able to see more information, which is basically the full chart object. And what I want to do now is just go here in data. And then here we get, if I click on that, we should get here the full information of the data sets and the labels. The labels for us is the perfect indicator of figuring out how many data points we have. So I'm going to say adopt labels, save, refresh. All right, so we get here undefined, which is interesting. Uh, and the reason why is because I forgot to say data. And then we say here, labels, save, there we are. Now what I want to say here, dot length, to figure out how many data points we have, seven in total. So now we have this. And what I want to do now is to convert this. Well, let's say here, first of all, constant, and then we can say here, point length. Let's try it. make sure you spell it correctly. And I'm going to say that this equal the item here above. Copy this, put it in there. And then what I want to do here is the following. And maybe we need to deduct this here minus one because index of an array works with index zero. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to say a constant. I'm going to say a point array. I'm going to create an array. And this array is just a blank array. And we're going to push in the data that we have here, because with this number, so information, we can use a for loop. So what I'm going to do now is simply this. I'm going to say here, let's put an enter in there, and say four, and let's scroll down a little bit. All right, and then we're going to say here four, and then we say i, or let i equals zero. And we say i, keep on looping as long as i is uh, smaller or equal to, and I'm going to say here, points, length which is here above and then once we did this we say i plus plus 
and then oh sorry and then here what I'm going to do now is we're going to say here basically a statement or well, what we can do here is we can say very simple I'm going to grab this here and later on we have to filter out we say here and then we're going to push and push basically add means adding something in the array and we're going to put it here by default is zero so if I do this and I'm going to say here now return and I'm going to return the array here save refresh now you can see here it is completely gone if I put in here 10 save that refresh you see here now this works so it does recognize but of course it's just default of all so what we need to do here is an if statement that will check if a condition is true once it's true filter out or do something so we're going to say if and we're going to say here if I equals and I'm going to grab here the length uh, we're going to say here if I equals the point length so it's maybe we can even do here strict let's see if that works if it equals strict point length in that case what I want to do is I want to copy this put it in here and assign here a 5 pixel for the dot which means the very last one of here will get a color or sorry get a point radius else if that is not the case they will be here now and have small items or have no dot at all so save this refresh and there you are now you can see here only this item here shows it if I would put in here a new item let's say here uh, hello and hello will have the value of 15 save refresh and you can see here now hello has number 15 and there we are So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to, for example, do some other nice items like highlighting a color line, then I would highly recommend you this specific video here on how to highlight specific line on click in a line chart in ChartJets.